Today, July 20th? Yep. So, July 20th. This is, uh, this is the mud you're drowning. You know, you hear about the guy drowning in the mud. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I'm gonna be rigging up a half ounce blue frog bucktail. I'm gonna be tipping with sandworms. We've got no wind, very calm conditions, so um, a little more finesse should go a long way here today. All right, just tied that up. This area does produce an occasional decent fluke too, so uh, the bucktail is a nice little multitasking tool. Cut out my slack there. Behind me, and uh, all right, nice, nice light rod, cast king kayak phantom rod. A 20 pound braided line on there. I think this is a 25 pound leader. And that's what you want that big thump. So you got, you know, you got a good porgy. A lot of fun. Oh, man. Ooh, look at the size of this one. Wow. That's a jumbo right there. Nice one on a bucktail right there. Cool fish, right? All right, I got plenty of meat in the fridge, so he's going back. I really think these bucktails help you call through these smaller ones too. So I had a lot of small life down there and you know this is a real nice one. Look at the size of that. Jeez. Look at the size of that porgy. About a 17 inch scup right there. On that little bucktail. See you later. A nice one. 13 inches. Oh, don't get wet. Whoa. Oh, porgy under the seat is not a good feeling. Get out of here.
With authority. Nice fluke. Short, but still. Jeez, man. Another jumbo. I'm liking these jumbo forgies, man. Okay, come back here and uh, loading up the cooler one of these days. Man, these are big. Another monster. Some big forgies. Gotta work those ledges and rocks, man. Makes a world of a difference. See you later. That's a fluke. That's no porgy. It's the advantage of using a buck though. Absolutely a keeper too. So you just never know. That's what it is. You just never know. That made it worth it, huh? All right. Probably about 20 inches, I'd say. Love getting a shot of it. Guys tell me they like how they dart off, so. Gonna do, let them do that. <laughs> He almost gave me a kiss. About an average size one. No jumbo there. Got here. Is that a porgy? That's a big, aggressive porgy if it is. Man. Wow. 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 I want to give you an idea. This thing's nuts. One of the biggest ones I've ever caught. This fish is the size of my wrist. It's probably 17 8 inches 
That's one giant porgy, man. Size of a plate. Crazy. Okay. Tiger scup. Tiger porgy. I'm near the one with the bricks, in between the bricks and David. <laughs> Fighting monster porgies. Blackfish? What the hell do I got? Ah, that's a porgy. One big, mean, jeez. You want to see a scup? That's a scup. Nice shot, huh? Hey, laddie.
Det var det. Ah, it really turned on with the tide here. Holy crap. Getting a few fluke in the mix too. Stringer, I don't got eyes. They are good. See? You ready? Yeah. That's a hefty fucking dinner plate. Hubcap, whatever the hell they call it. I'm gonna send them on your I'm gonna send them your way because I know you you despise them. It's Sixteen inches, man. These are I'm not a fan of scum. It's not your thing. Busy day of bass fishing, but I'd say it was a good day of porgy fishing. <laughs> ah, it was good though. I like to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come, try to come back here one more time, fill up the cooler, you know, grab, a, you know, keep a half, keep about ten of those monsters. Yeah, that's good. You can fillet them. Of course you can fillet them. They're not bony. Everyone complains they're bony because. I mean, it tastes pretty good. But I mean, guys complain they're bony. I'm like, it's just like any other fish. You just take out the wire. I mean, you need like a 14 inch one to start really cutting them down and stuff like that. Don't they have like a little center bone you have to fillet out? Just like a sea bass almost. It runs maybe another inch or two deeper. It's, not, it's no big deal. Yeah. 